it's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. I'm not getting off a train today at St. David's, the UK's smallest city, because there's no train station here. So for episode eight of beer and breweries in, let me climb out this tent. Episode eight, we're on a campsite. We're on a campsite. There's our little tent, little car over there. Uh, we've had one night here in St. David's. It's really, really lovely. Really, 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 really lovely. Um, so I'm just going to spin round and you can see that's our view over there. So we barbecue here on our little kind of table. Have a few drinks in the night. I had a, had a few Francis Carner last night. I mean, you can probably see uh, by my jittery eyes this morning that I've had some Francis Carner last night. But yeah, it's a beautiful place in David's. Um, it's right on the coast. Um, so the nearest place after this is Ireland. Um, you can go from Fishguard to, um, there's, a, there's, a, there's a port in Ireland where you land at and then you're about a train journey away up to, up to Dublin, which I mean, I'm gonna do. Not, not this weekend, but I'm definitely gonna come back down here and, oh, oh, well, I wanna try a pint of the black stuff in, in, in Dublin, but that's not why we're here. We are here to talk about St. David's. It's the smallest city in the UK um, it's a really small town with a, or city I should say, the size of a small village, but it's got a cathedral, so it, it classes as a, a city. I'm going to go into town. There's a place called the Farmer's Arms. Um, they, they, there's a little kind of couple of pubs there. I'm going to have a little look around and we're going to try and make a video of it. Let's go and have a look. Okay, so walking around the corner into New Street in St. David's, there's this wonderful place. It's called Grain. It's not quite open yet, but it looks like pizza and beer, which is awesome. You've got some draft stuff here. Uh, fo fossil fuel from Bluestone. Cave Dweller, Bluestone. I got the Pale Ale from Polly's. Super Happy from Cloudwater Brewing. And then Prasadi Pills from Blue Water Bl Brewing Company. So there's a nice little place here to eat pizza and it's all kind of freshly cooked. Loads of uh, tomato tins and I think we're going to come here and eat to be honest later on. Yeah, a little place off New Street in St. David's. So for anybody who's interested, here's a look at the cathedral. This is what makes St. David's city of a, with a population of 2,000 people city this massive cathedral look at it i mean there's a ruin down over there you can see the sea behind there's a cathedral it's absolutely huge you've got the kind of hills in the background beautiful day and spinning around here there's there's the way in to the whole place and there's a little pub hello Oh, advertised here called the Farmer's Arms. Good beer, good food, outside beer garden. Let's go on a little picturesque lane. Uh, find it. I mean, again, there's a little look at the cathedral down there. So maybe from this beer garden, you got terrific views. Ah, oh, here it is. You can see the beer. Or Paracels. Telltale signs of a pub. Yeah, it's very quaint. Very, very, very nice place in David's. I haven't been here too long. We'll be able to see what beer they got on. Doomba. So, yeah, as imagined, as thought, I imagine you can get up on here. Yeah, there we are. I don't want to walk. <laughs> walk on. Maybe I can walk across here. Yeah, there you go. So from the farmer's arms, you've got to, you've got to look at the cathedral. And he is. 
Here's the pubs, we've got a nice outside bar and the sunshine. Fell in full. Evan Evans. Fell in full brewery. And then you've got some Madries and Star of Pravens, Carlin's and stuff. And then uh, through to here. Sorry, thank you. Uh, here's a, here's a, a little look at the pub. Wicked, look at this place. It's absolutely fantastic. Little, loads of little bars and nooks and crannies. Fantastic. So this is rather interesting. We've made our way into the Bishop's Palace. Where... Well, this was a place for the bishops to really have fun and enjoy their lives. I mean, look at this. Something like 800 years old. Um, but there is a beer connection, of course, with every one of my videos. There's a, there's a beer connection. And that's through this, through this door here. Now, apparently they drank gallons and gallons of wine and, and gallons and gallons of ale when they had parties and we have, I think I've turned it wrong. We have evidence of it here. So these vaulted ceilings would have been where they stored the wine and the ale. Um, they were vaulted, uh, they were vaulted like this because they were cold places to store the, the beer and the, and the wine. So if I just stand at this end here, you can see the, the vaulted ceiling and here's the evidence they call it the undercross um oh do i actually ah there we are these cool undercross would have been ideal for storing wooden barrels of wine and ale and i've actually taken a wrong turning because there's there's other parts of this where they mention how many gallons and liters of beer would have been consumed from these vaults but yeah you can imagine barrels being stored from floor to ceiling uh, in these buildings so st david's yeah there's a history of beer and wine De ah here we are here we are right uh this is the buttery where wine and ale would have been poured from their storage barrels and flagons for the table so there was a bishop's there was ale from the Bishop's Brewery. So you can see here, uh, 66 gallons of white wine is consumed on an Easter day in 1290. And you've got all the food there as well, which, wow, we're not here for the food, are we? We're here, we're here for this, we're here for the ale and the beer. Yeah, so what a fantastic little place, cellars where they, Cellars and cellars and cellars, aren't there? Store the another one over there. Oh, they've got a model actually. Let's go and have a look at this model. Maybe there's in this model. Oh, I had a look at this model. Maybe this model would have shown the beer and the ale being stored. Or maybe not. Now it's just a, oh, oh, actually, actually, if I just have a look over there, if you see in the distance over there, yeah, there's a person there yeah, with a barrel. There we go. Okay, that's, this is St. David's Palace. Right, we've hit the center of St. David's. This is the smallest city in the UK. I've already noticed there's a pub down the bottom there called the Bishops, which we're probably going to try and get in later on. You can see where all the cars are driving down. That's a little pub there. So St. David's, it only has a population of less than 2,000 people. Now, if you put where I live in Barry, in perspective, which is a small town in, in Wales, that has a population of about 43,000 people. What I really like about this, if you have a look at that cross behind, you see the cross there, there. You can actually see the sea behind. It's actually got sea views. So there's the bishops. 
We'll have a little look at the bishops, I think. Let's get down there. So, walking down the main high street in St. David's, we were just looking at the bishops where we're going to make our way now. I walked literally round the corner and you have this fantastic beer garden. So, it's on, it's on the high street. Loads of places to eat and drink here. It looks like it's a hotel, but yeah. I mean, look at this place, absolutely wonderful. Places, there's a little chocolate factory place down there. Um, there's a, there's a, a butcher's over here. If you're staying down here and you want a barbecue, they've got a family butcher's over there. But we're here for the pub. We are definitely here for the pub. So I'm going to walk around, place the parking car there and see what they got. It looks like it's, it's, it's Madri. It's cocktails, whiskies, doom bars, that sort of thing. Uh, as always in 2022, people are looking for staff. It's like staff wanted everywhere. So walking in, ah, there we go. Nice uh, quaint little bar where they got Coors Light, Carlin, Madri, Carlin, Cider. Oh, they got doom bar. They got something called uh, White Sands Pale Ale and a... Fell in fall, double dragon ale. That's a nice little place. Toilets up the back, fireplace. But I think this is the this is the area in here. If you if you if you come into St David's, then this is it. This is it. The beer garden. Sitting in the sunshine under a few trees. Absolutely fantastic. So we're going to carry on rolling. We are going to carry on rolling. We're going to make our way across this road, and we're going to make our way down to the, the bishops. This place looks interesting. I think we'll walk across this nice little park here. Oh, there's some people I know there. There's my little family. Hello. Happy lot, teenagers, isn't they? They're a happy lot. So this place looks really good. So it's on Cross Square. Really lovely old uh, building. I think if I'm going to go in any entrance, it's going to be this entrance here. This this looks an older part of the building. Again, they're hiring as well. So they got food. Nice food menu. So walking into this. Uh... Here we go, walking into this place. This looks absolutely fantastic. Oh, there's a place there for them to sit, my teenage daughters. <laughs> um, yeah, absolutely wonderful. Look at this. Lovely old looking stone building. Low beams, that sort of thing. The beer though, the beer's the interesting thing. What do they have on? It looks like they've got uh, some Carlin, some Guinness, some Madri, Worthington's. I haven't seen Worthington's for a long, long, long time. And then walking out the back, Oh, they have got some cast beers on. They got some Evan Evans, Scrumpy, Feeling, uh, Fell and Fall, even Doom Bar, and then this wonderful, nice sitting area there, sitting area over there with a the dartboard. And importantly, I love a beer garden, especially in the sunshine. Look at this place. So here we are. You can see parts of the cathedral in the background. Some more beer barrels there, or wine barrels. Yeah, loads and loads of place I, I, to sit and eat and drink and just be merry, I suppose. I'm quite, I'm quite impressed with this, St. David's, to be honest. The view from up here. Yeah, there you go, there's your view. If I stand back here, there's your view there of the, uh, the church down the bottom. Fantastic, what a lovely place. So, that was a look at St. David's. Uh, beer. We might be going to the Grain for a pizza. They had cloud water on. So we made it back to Grain. We've ordered some pizzas. While the pizzas come, I've got two halves. Uh, one is cloud water and one is I Got D. And it's, it's a pale ale from Polly's at 4.8% ABV. This is called Super Happy, wasn't it? Super Happy from Cloudwater. So 4.8% ABV. Fantastic. To, we are on 
Google where St. David's is on Google Maps. It's on the furthest point of the Welsh coast, the west of, uh, of Wales. There's not a brewery for 20 miles, yet here I am drinking Polly's. Looks good, nice and hazy, lovely and hoppy. Great protein, a little bit dry, citrusy. Terrific. Was the uh, that's the polys and then super happy from cloud water you can see it's slightly lighter in color again super hazy super lovely nice head on it good aroma not as much as the polys in the aroma it's much more punchy oh but in terms of taste really crisp really lovely really refreshing sun shining again order some pizzas super happy to be here my wife is ordered a stout which hasn't arrived yet but she'll get a stout in a moment uh we'll sip on these but um yeah that was a look at st david's and it's beers there was not a brewery here it's cathedral yeah, and somewhere to come and eat and drink i'd probably recommend this place it's great to get good beer thanks for watching Stone the crows. Boom. Cheers. Just a quick look at the pizzas. There's the Induju, spicy, cheese and tomato, Hawaiian, and farmhouse. They look amazing. Look at that. Pizza and beer. Heaven.